Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on polynomial long division and synthetic division. We're asked to find a remainder of those two polyno polynomial when we divide it. Let's try the easy method first. Let's try something different this time. Let's try the easy one first and then we'll do the hard one. So let's copy this thing here down first. Um, I do have a missing term here because this is 4, 3, this should be x term, x squared term. I should have 0, minus 5x, and then plus 8. Okay. So division, synthetic division says take all the coefficients, even the missing ones, okay. And then here is a big important stuff. You don't put a 3 here because we're dividing by x plus 3. Since, since synthetic division is adding, so every term when you have a step, each step, the step you're adding it, it's important to you know that you put the minus 3 over here. There's no good reason other than if you do synthetic division, you need to make sure that it's a plus sign. Since it's a plus sign within the operation, so plus sign within operation. So what you do is you take what you're dividing, set to 0, x equal to minus 3, and then you put this minus 3 over here. Okay, like I said, there's no specific reason other than you're doing operation within it, it's adding sign. So what you need to do is take care of the minus sign outside, which is over here. All right. Then once we do that, the first thing to do is you take the first coefficient down, and the next one you're going to multiply, this is minus 6, and then you add. This is what I mean by adding is within the operation. So here I have a minus 2, okay, and then I have a 6, because minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. Adding again, I have a positive 6 here. Minus 6 times uh, minus 3 times 6, so I have a minus 18, so I have a positive 23 over here. Positive 23 times minus 3, so I have a 9, and then 69, minus 69. Did I miss a sign over here somewhere? Let's see. Minus 20, oh, this is minus, silly. Minus 23 minus times mi minus 3, then I have a positive 69, so my remainder is positive 77. Okay, that's it. It's pretty easy to do. Now let's do the long and the hard one. And then if we do everything correct, we would end up exactly the same thing. So let's copy all the boxes down, even with the missing one. Here's the plus 8. Now for long division, the good thing is you don't have to change anything over here because we're going to be doing subtraction within the operation. P-P-E-R. A-T-I-O-N. Okay, so within the operation, then here you keep it the same. So basically, it doesn't matter. If you want to add, then you change over here. If you're going to do subtraction, which is more tedious, and then you leave this one here. So one way or the other, you have to do the work, basically. There are two terms. I'm going to outline two terms here, and then pretend you're poking a hole in the roof here. The first thing you're going to put here is matching this leading term by multiplying the x. Obviously, we need a 2x cubed over here. All right. So 2x to the fourth minus 3x3. That's 6. I meant to say 6 cubed. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to do subtraction here. So it's 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth. That disappears. 4 minus, did I miss a sign over here? Oh, dear. I'm just keep on missing sign. This is a plus sign here. OK. So this is my plus sign. So it's 4 minus 6x. So I have negative 2x cubed. Incidentally, this minus 2, as you notice, matches this coefficient up here. Okay. This term is plus 0. And then I have a minus 2x uh, squared. So I have a minus 2x cubed plus oh, minus sign 6x squared not looking any prettier like day here. So minus 2x cubed minus minus is plus. So this leading term goes away. 0 minus minus becomes the 
positive 6x squared. And if you look up here, this coefficient max this one. Okay, next the one, minus 5x over here. Let's see. Let me slow down so I don't make a mistake here. Plus 6x. 6x here, square. And then I have a plus 18x. And I'm going to minus over here, once again. 6x squared minus 6x, leading term goes away. Minus 5x minus a positive, which is really minus. Okay, so I have minus 23x over here. And the last term is plus 8. So I have a minus 23 on top over there. Match the leading term here. And then I have minus 23 times 3 is 9, uh, 69. 69 over here. I'm taking a subtraction again. Okay, so minus 23 minus minus is plus. The leading term goes away. 8 minus minus is plus. So really, it's 8 plus 69. It doesn't look good. So 77. And we get exactly the same answer. Okay. Now, this one obviously is a lot more tedious. Okay, let's take a math break. It's a hard work. That's not an interesting one. Okay, back to math. So as you can see, both methods does give you, they do give you the same answer, but obviously one is a lot prettier and quicker than the other one. The thing you needed to do is um, make sure you set this thing in the e zero sort of sense. Make sure you change the sign here. Otherwise, everything else will get off uh, wrong foot for you. All right, I hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.